Girl, we started from the bottom, now we're here, girl. Oh, yeah. Amanda Dunker. And I'm Garrett Prine. I'm Jacqueline Mejia. And I'm Rodney Jones, the Jolly Elf. And this is LHS News. Halloween edition. And we're here to give you the inside scoop on Aloud in High School. Let's look at Take the title first. Project ABLE, the word ABLE implies that our students are able to, to contribute to society uh, once they graduate from high school. Um, and so we're, we're saying in a sense that yes, they are able uh, to go out and, and uh, after high school get a job and uh, have a family and contribute to society. And as far as what is Project ABLE, we're in our second year of our program. Uh, our students take uh, block, in blocks one and two on uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. We go out into the uh, business world here in Loudoun County and our students go and uh, work at different businesses. Thanks for that information on Project ABLE. Now let's switch it over to the Medic Blood Drive. Hello, I'm Jacqueline Mejia and I'm here to talk to you about LHS Medic Blood Drive. Did you know every two seconds someone in the U.S. needs blood? Although an estimated 38% of the U.S. population is eligible to donate, less than 10% actually do it each year. Two most common reasons cited by people who don't give blood are never thought about it or I don't like needles. So we sent Anna Gammons to find out why students here at LHS are willing to donate blood. So let's go check it out. Uh, because I feel like it's really important because I know a lot of people, they have to wait for blood, like get on waiting lists and stuff. So it's just a good thing to do to give back when you can. Because um, I want to help people in need. Just to give back to people that give it to me if I need it in, future, in the future. Um, I'm helping out right now, but uh, later I'm going to be donating. For a free appetizer and free t-shirt. Well, they told me I'd get a free t-shirt and a free appetizer at Texas Roadhouse, and uh, here I am. Thanks to everyone who donated blood to help save lives. Now in the spirit of Halloween, let's take it on to our short film. And the monster comes out and scares everyone! You scared of monsters? Monster came at me, man. I'm hitting him with that one, two, three. Ronnie, you're just trying to act tough in front of everyone. Act tough, hold on. If I was in that situation, let's just picture this. Just picture this right here. Playing. I'm a stone. <laughs> Nothing is scaring me. Not no little monster. You know what's really scary? What? Clowns. 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 Shh. Happy birthday! Thanks. Garrett. I got you a surprise. Really? What is yeah. it? Yeah. Hold on. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it Garrett, I got you a balloon.
Garrett, I'm funny. Garrett, I got you a balloon. Garrett, I got a joke. Why did the ghost need a tissue to blow his boogies? But it's. Can't you elect before this is over? Funny, people want me to know the lyrics. Say I'm funny. Garrett, that wasn't that wasn't even scary. I have something way scarier, something that actually happened. Autumn, what could be scary that happens to you? You broke an L? Um, it was way scarier. I'm glad you're awake. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. You're just so beautiful. Autumn, I just, I just love you. I, I even saved some of your hair. Your hair smells so nice. I watch you while you sleep. You just seem so peaceful. And when I go home, I sleep with you too. What? Here, I'll show you. Look, we sleep every night together. You love me, I love you. What's wrong with you? Let me out. Oh, you just grouchy because you're hungry. Here, let me get you some food. I have some apples. Let me in! Oh my god, did you call the police? Um, yeah, but how cool was it that I got a life size cut out of myself? Bro, you crazy! More like insane. Okay, guys, but you know what's really scary? Going bald. Oh my god, going bald! I don't wanna go bald! <laughs> That short film scared me, now let's move on to the feature film. So, Cozart, this man is an actor, director, um, he's played in movies, he has his own company, he's trying to start a business here in Loudoun, and he came here to talk to us today, which we're very thankful for. Let's go listen you know? to it. So, when I get opportunities like this to come and speak, especially to my own the school, my own alma mater, um, I'm excited because I really think if, if I was sitting where you are, I, would, I wouldn't even know what to ask. I would just be like, uh, uh, how did you get to, from here to here? He made me realize that you can start very low and be really successful in this life. You just keep going and believing yourself, you know? I didn't know I had. And that is building, always having something going on, not just have one thing. Because we all are very eclectic. I guarantee you, each one of you have more than one talent. And sometimes that talent, it doesn't come out until you are provoked, until, you're, uh, until somebody you know, challenges you. And a challenge doesn't have to be a negative thing. It's not a negative thing. It's just say, I want you to think. Think about this. Think about that. Now, movies. <sighs> movies. It's the director's medium. Okay? The director is choosing the shots choosing the music that goes in the shots, uh, working with the actors, working with the writer, working with the script supervisor. Mr. Kozar coming out here to speak to us actually meant a lot because he's been on the scene, he's been to Hollywood, he's played in major movies, he's directed 
great documentaries. So putting that in an aspect of him coming to Loudoun, it's, it's huge. This has been a very spooky show. Thanks for watching. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram and Twitter.